Welcome to Office Allotment Vlog for Sunday, August 23rd. After a week's holiday, I've got uh, a lot done this week. Hell of a lot done, back to work tomorrow, a little quick tour. But uh, I mean, it's beautiful now, it's turned into a lovely summer's evening. Uh, but earlier on, I had to leg it into the um, shed as the heavens came down and it was right thunderstorm. It lasted a good half an hour. Got out with a crack of thunder. Look at that. You can see it's slightly raining. Well, I'm sheltering out of the way. <laughs> And then, this footage here had me uh, really, really confused. Does anybody know what that is? What on earth is that? What the hell is it? It's, like, it's got an head both sides or something. Wowzers. And I found out it was an elef uh, elephant, I forgot what it is now, an elephant caterpillar. Check it at the end. <laughs> or elephant hawk caterpillar, something daft like that. But my big caterpillar, that's all I know. So, I zoomed up a little bit on there. These are the uh, radish rats tails I've shown you all week, but you're all interested in, in seeing the footage of what's done throughout this week, people have not seen it. So this is the latest going to seeds, so I'll put seeds from that. Let's see um, French beans at the south side in the, uh, there we've got swede, turnips going through. Uh, in the middle here is a variety of different cabbages, doing really well aren't they? The kale there as well, good variety of kale. Yeah, down there. Beetroot. Yeah, the beat up there, look. Alright. So, all up here until this week. This is a sweet corn, took a right battering. Took a right battering, did the sweet corn in those winds yesterday. But picked some yesterday. Really nice. Got gooseberries down at the bottom. See these, 2 99 each. Just quite doing my paths on that. Uh, what I'm going to do here is get this bed ready, got rainbow chard to go in and what else, uh, a couple of rows of radish, still put them in in September. So I've done all this this week, I'm going to do all that as well, so that's me, varieties of leeks there. It's one of my fire last year. No apples on this tree, but some coming, there's a lone apple there. Is that? I'm not ready. There's a few there as well. I'll have that in a minute. I'll just keep an eye out for uh, any bugs. <laughs> so, <laughs> see the uh, gooseberry bush. Put that back. I've dug all this. Flipping like it's uh, all these bricks I've had to dig out. Drop me back. And found the bathtub. <laughs> we had a bit of fun the year, wait, last year. The only year before, weren't it? And I couldn't get it out, so I thought I'd have a path over it. I've changed my mind. I don't think I can dig it out because I cut a fill before, but I'm thinking of either digging up soil out, ouch, uh, and having either a water feature here, like um, put some pan water pants in, so a water garden, or an asparagus bath. I don't know which way to go. So, see here, some few bushes. Just stand from there and get in there, looking a lot better. That's how I look like an allotment. And I've got all this bits just to finish off to the top. All that next week. Tidy up the 
kind of do it next week as well. So we always me. Do it for the those me. Mavis. Nicole Jets. I've had a good pick in of these today. Oh, there's still some coming up. Pumpkins coming at the end. Even got a couple of little crystal lemon cucumbers coming there. A bit of spinach. Just cropped all the picked all the apples off that tree. But my winter job to do all that. Kiwi fruit. I'll put that inside soon. I can't even remember what that tree is labelled all the way. Uh, these are my leek heads, I'm letting them dry out and I'll put those seeds into packets um, and that's elephant garlic, what's drying out, use those cloves for the next seasons and oh, I kind of did tidy up for me last Sunday but made it a mess um, got rainbow chad to put in, Japanese greens, two varieties of radish sweet peas can be grown in September, got some onions and spinach so I'll be sowing them Probably next week. And I've harvested those today, nice variety of sizes. <laughs> uh, and uh, a big bag full of apples. And then we'll put that one in there. Still. <laughs> I've got, got this wood, what I've craned. And then, as I say, once I've done the top, I'm just going to get onto this side. I'm gonna completely dig around all the fruit, mount the fruits, get proper paths down there. It's gonna be a proper long autumn job that. Cut it all back. This bed needs doing as well. Don't even see it path look. I'm gonna bang all myself. So I'm gonna have a look at my sprouts. Oh, what's that doing that? That's not good, is it? So what I'm doing, see the sprouts coming up. Oh, there's a lot of white fly on. But yeah, the sprouts are starting to come. Probably need to weed in here. See the little sprouts? <laughs> Not another collie, look. As soon as they open up, you've got to grab these. Right, I need to come back in with a knife and get the collar. Oh, those lettuce have gone to seed. <laughs> right, go and get my knife. And the cauliflower. But yeah, you can see, I've done a lot. That looks really, very really good on a nice evening. That's me signing off. Right, you've got an extra. I just got to the top, got to the gate. Where's my car keys? And you're currently in there. And I bolted this. The frigging hell am I going to do? <laughs> oh, we'll come round here. Unfortunately, I haven't shut that window, so I think I'm going to have to climb through there. So, I'm going to have to move all this, aren't I? What a plod. Right, there it goes. Let's move this. Right, so I've now moved the greenhouse stuff I've got to go up on the glass. See if I can climb through here. What's the glass? They better be here after all this, otherwise I'm going to panic if the keys aren't here. There they are, look. And now, you can all call me Robbie Plonker. Flipping heck. Thank goodness I didn't do it in the winter, eh? Hmm. When I've not left the window open. So, I'm going to have to do... Oh, Jesus. Ouch. See if I can put that in. <laughs> There we go. Oh, I've got my keys.